how it's just rumors, but apparently CBS is working on developing a new Star Trek TV show. Mm. Um, now, back in 2006, they were actually going to make another TV show. Uh, it's called Federation, Star Trek Federation. But when the movie franchise started popping up, and I think that was like 2007, 2008, was when J.J. Abrams took over the movie franchise, they kind of scrapped those plans. So it looks like they're going to be rebooting it. Um, we are going to get a Star Trek TV show. And I just wanted to talk about where would we want this to take place. Now, we all know the traditional Star Trek is... You have a captain of a ship who's always a really strong character, whether it be male or female, which works both ways, and they go off on their adventures in space. Deep Space Nine did it a little bit different because they were more of a static location. Mm. But that didn't mean they didn't have plenty of foreign um, people coming through. Yeah, but I'm just thinking that maybe it's time for a little bit of change to the franchise because the last TV show that kind of followed that formula was Enterprise. And was I really like Scott Bakula... I just didn't feel that that show worked as well. It definitely didn't get the same ratings. It didn't have the same success as some of the other shows, which was also probably a contributor to not um, trying for another show in 2006 because Enterprise had not done so well um, as well. I, like it did go on for several seasons, like not five years, I think. Yeah. Space. yeah, which is which is a decent run, but mm -hmm. um, it it didn't really take over a prime time slot. I don't think. Um, it didn't have the ratings for that. Well, it might have, but it was on like the the UPN or something like that. So not a major network. Um, but yeah, it wasn't as good. There was some weird like continuity things about it. They tried to go further back in time, but then they were calling it the Enterprise still, even though the other one was supposed to be the Inter first Enterprise. Yeah, first Enterprise. Uh, uh, uh. Whatever. Um, <laughs> um, no, yeah, and it wasn't well, a terrible show. I didn't, but I didn't end up yeah, watching all of it myself. Didn't work I'm it. a big Star Trek fan. Yeah, it just didn't work as well. Um, now the rumors are, and this was reported by Latino Review, um, that CBS is working on bringing in the Bad Hat Harry production company, which is Brian Singer's production company. So hmm. probably making him an executive producer. And we talked about it all. The X Men movies we were just talking about, all the best ones are the Brian Singer movies, the ones that fall flat on their face. Uh, he's not around, so uh, that makes me have very, very high hopes for this TV show. Now, Federation, like I said, the one that they had before, was actually supposed to be set far, far in the future, um, past Voyager, past East Space Nine, so they didn't quite run into any of the which, continuity problems. Which is exactly what you would, I would pers I post personally hope for, even in this next upcoming one. You, you might say that that's not what's going on, but like they've done the... Star Trek Next Generation time period three times. That was enough for that. Um, there was the previous stuff, and then they went even further back with Enterprise uh, to show, like, building up the um, uh, the Federation. Fine. Or building up to the Federation. Fine. I, I want to see that next Next Generation at this point. Yeah, the next Next Generation, yeah. Um, I am kind of hoping for... Now, this is might sound a little cliche or it's been done to death recently. I'm kind of hoping for a Game of Thrones feel to it where it's not necessarily just one ship with the captain and the crew going through, but it really takes more place, uh, place more with the, the inner solar system politics. It focuses on more of the leaders of the Federation, the Cleons, and all these different groups and maybe a war is going on, because there's not enough war. If you look at Next Generation, the best time of that show was when they were at war with the Romulans. That is the best time of that show. Um, the Borg battles were, were pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, of course, and the Borg battles were awesome. Honestly, they were at war. I they favored at war. all the Q stuff, which they weren't really at war with the Q, but they, it was always like a constant tension. Yeah, but that was like five humanity episodes. Humanity being wiped out. No, they, they had a Q episode every season. Was one okay, that was like nine episodes. But like but the Romulan awesome War episodes. was like a whole <laughs> season, you know? So, and, and if you look at Deep Space Nine, the best time in that show is when they were at war with the Dominion, you know, and the founders, those shape-shifting guys. Hmm. It just seems like if they went ahead and took it and made it more of a... I would also like to see more of a, you know, Cleon developed society and, you know, a Romulan... Um, you know, who am I missing? They, they show glimpses all those. of those. They show glimpses of those um, in Next Generation in particular, but, mm -hmm. but it's, they don't fully flesh it out. 
Yeah, yeah and I'd like to see just more of a, a bigger, a wider lens cast instead of uh, just the lens on one ship and one crew. Now, don't get me wrong, I love that traditional way of doing things. It is awesome. <laughs> I'm a fan of almost all the Star Trek shows. Really, the only Star Trek show I didn't ever get into was, funny, funny enough, was the original show. Um, but, you know, I love Star Trek Deep Space Nine, uh, Next Generation. I actually didn't mind Voyager that much. Enterprise was all right, but, you know, Deep Space yeah. Nine and, and Next Generation were two of my favorite shows of all time. And yeah. so... Hmm. Uh, yeah, it, it, I, I'm I'm interested to see where where they decide to go with it. Um, like I said, I I do hope that they try to go further in the future along the ideas that you were talking about. That seems like it might work, but they would have to like if they really want to go into the politics though. It seems like they would have to be more planet bound. Like as much as this is a space federation, mm -hmm. all the politics and all the rulership always goes on on one of the planets, like they talk about it. Yeah. Earth is where the Central Command is one, Vulcan's where the Central Command, uh, one of the, whatever the Klingon planet is, is a Central Command. Like, the Romulus. politics, yeah, the Romulus, they, the inner politics always are planetary-based people. Um, Which is so, fine. That's what I'm saying, you jump from planet to planet. Aspect. They'd be really different, though. Um, yeah, but it still works. I mean, it's not quite the exploration like we're nor we're used to with Star Trek, but I'm I think it, you wouldn't lose that much. The exploration, though, like, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit hesitant about. Because that was one of the great things about Next Generation and the first one was the emphasis on the the exploration and seeing new things and having to deal with new situations. As, but uh, they can do a different show. They do it well. Hey, and, and and you think whatever. that they could still focus on certain like an admiral or something leading some troops into battle against the Cleons or the Cleon, whatever they call their head high leaders, um, leading their fleets and have more tactics and strategy like that. With, with So you can still have little touches of that, but make it a little broader. Now, again, some people might hate me because I, what I just described isn't really Star Trek, like Brendan said, but I'd like to see that universe... Um, expand it out a little bit. More more of a broad view, see more of what's going on everywhere rather than just one ship. So, But let us know what you think. There's a, these are just ideas, and this is all just rumors. None of this is confirmed. So hit us up, let us know what you think. What would you like to see for a new Star Trek TV show? Hit us up, comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting older. <laughs>